Welcome to the NBC Connecticut YouTube page. I'm Mike Heideck. We're talking Face the Facts with Attorney General William Tong. Thanks for joining us on Face the hey, Facts Mike. this morning. He's part of a new collective of attorneys general from all across the state trying to safeguard our digital privacy. Tell us about the organization and what do you hope to accomplish? So the National Association of Attorneys General is one of the biggest organizations of elected officials. It's been around for more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. George Jepson, my predecessor, was president of NAG. It's not a very good acronym. <laughs> I thought about that. But <laughs> um, uh, what NAG does is it puts AGs together uh, 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 in committees on major issues. So I'm going to be the co-chair of the Internet Security and Privacy Committee, and I've been paired up with the Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton. Um, and obviously working with Texas is a big deal. They're a big state, right. uh, and they have the resources to focus on these issues. So, so that partnership's gonna be great, and it's a bipartisan Democrat-Republican okay. relationship, which is great too. And we're gonna be focused on protecting people's personal data and protecting consumers. So here in Connecticut, we understood the Equifax. A lot of our, yep. our consumers were hit by the Equifax data breach. We've seen major retailers like Target and Best Buy and some of these others uh, fall victim to that as well. What can be done? Is it just standard firewall? Like, how do you engage the tech community to help us kind of thwart these breaches? So, um, you know, it's constantly evolving. And so we're, we're trying to keep up with the technology, not just the protective technology, but the invasive technology, right? What scammers and criminals will use to penetrate firewalls and penetrate technological controls. And, and so uh, I think it's constantly evolving and new technology is coming online every day, not just with respect to data breaches, but uh, robocalls too, for example. There's, right. there's new technology out there. So um, it's about compliance. It's a culture of compliance, making sure that big companies follow the law, that they implement the latest technology, and making sure that we educate consumers to keep their information safe. Talking about big companies, California just passed a consumer yep. privacy law um, regarding the fact that they can find the Facebooks of the world or the Twitters of the world if they sell our data without our knowledge and what they do with yep. it. Uh, can Connecticut look at something like that? Or are we going to try to at least see how it rolls out there? We're, we're, we're watching how it rolls out in California. Uh, they're a bit ahead of us because um, they've got... Uh, a really robust, obviously, tech industry out there. They've been having this conversation for many years. So it made sense that California moved first. Mm -hmm. And so we, Connecticut, many other states are watching how the CCPA works uh, in California. And we'll decide sometime soon how we can take advantage of that experience and do what we need to do here in Connecticut to protect Connecticut families. From an international level, regarding our uh, tensions with Iran yeah. recently, uh, one of the things that came out on Homeland Security's website said, look, beware of cyber attacks from Iran. They attack things like the Boy Scouts, they try to get to power grids, people's banks, uh, hospitals, as you and I were talking about before. Can the attorneys general, as a collective, connect with the federal government or lean on lawmakers to say, hey, listen, we need to do this on the local level in addition to the national level. We're doing both of those things, but the other thing we can do is we can sit here with you and tell people through YouTube and, and on NBC Connecticut that they need to be careful and they need to be smart about uh, the data that they provide to a local store or a big box store yeah. or online when they buy a pair of shoes, right? And when they sign up for a new credit card. and and. Know what you know, which is that nobody's going to call you on the phone and say your taxes are overdue and the way you take care of that is you go down to CVS and buy a bunch of gift cards mm -hmm. and you send them to me by FedEx overseas. That doesn't make any sense. Don't do but, that, yeah. but sometimes people get tricked and scammed and my own mom got scammed. And so don't be embarrassed. Uh, if it happens, it happens to a lot of people, a lot of smart people. Yeah. But just be careful. And think about what someone is asking you to do. Nobody... Uh, who calls you on the phone asking you for money. Um, you shouldn't pay money over the telephone, basically, is what I'm trying to say. You should, be, you should say, thank you very much, hang up the phone, and think about uh, what's being asked of you. And if it's something that you're concerned about, then you can call back uh, on your own time and your own schedule and call, you know, whether it's a university or a store that you do business with, right. um, and check out and make sure that that what somebody has called you about is actually legitimate. One last thing I think a lot of people would agree with. 
you go and you get ready to do something on your phone. Yeah. And it says, click agree. Yeah. Have you ever read what they ask you to agree to? Have you made it through <laughs> 75 pages of legal ease and then said, no, you don't. Nobody does. So, so that's a huge problem, right? right? And we call it, as lawyers, boilerplate. <laughs> yeah. and, and a yeah. lot of that also has things like forced arbitration clauses, where if you have a problem, you agree to give up your rights in court and go to something called arbitration, right. which may or may not be as, as effective as going to court. So. Yeah, there are a lot of challenges with that, and I'm I'm like you. I'm like anybody else. If I want to if I want to buy a pair of shoes or a bag or something, and you gonna buy I'm, it. I'm late on Christmas, right? Yep. Agree. Okay. Hit it, yeah. Yeah. Attorney General William Tong, thanks for your nice time. Nice to today. see you. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.